morning. Good afternoon. And good evening to our fellow YouTubers and subscribers. It's another week gone. I know, yeah. last week of holidays. <laughs> and back to work back full to work. time. Yes, yeah. back, back to work the on net. Monday. You've been back this week, actually, haven't I you? I have, yeah. It's not been too bad. What I will say is, once you've been on leave, do you not agree that the first week back goes super quick? Uh, yeah, it generally does, actually. Yeah, so it's not been a bad week. It's been a frustrating week. Glad to be over. Glad to be home. Glad to have a beer. You haven't had a beer yet? No, but I'm going to have one. Yes. It's the weekend. It's treat night. <laughs> yeah, so treat we're night allowed tonight. a treat. Yes. I want to start off with, I had a bit of an incident. I went out for a walk on oh. Sunday. And I'm going to take you through what happened. See you in a minute. So, guys, as you can probably tell, it's absolutely blowing a gale. But this is where the incident <laughs> happened that I'm going to talk to you about now. I was walking along this beach, but imagine the tide being about a foot off the cliff. And I'll show you exactly what happened and how I found this item that nearly got lost. You can see how windy it is. It's absolutely blowing a gale. But of course, the dogs are loving it. It is an absolute glorious day. It is like a moonscape, isn't it? So we're nearly getting to the point where it all nearly went peak tong for me. If you remember guys, I put a picture on Sunday of our lovely walk and this is where I came. So I came all the way along this beach here and what you've got to remember is I've timed it perfectly with the tide and the tide was way up to about, I would say to about here. Yeah, so I had next to nothing there and sometimes, occasionally, it would come right over and up to the dune and I'd have to jump up the dunes, yeah? So I'd walked all the way from that end, all the way down to the lighthouse, turned round and came back. Once I got to the top of them cliffs and on the way back to the car, I went to get, get the phone out of my pocket, like this. No, where's my blinking phone? So I had my watch, which connects to my phone. And I noticed on the top that it said it had disconnected to the phone. So there's nothing else I could do other than turn around and walk back down the beach. But bearing in mind, obviously the tide is pretty much full the way in now. So I was there with my watch in my hand, plodding along this beach here. And I say occasionally having to jump up the dunes because the waves were crashing right in. And I got a bit further up here to this exact point here where the dune sticks here. And yeah, you can actually see where I jumped up over a week or about a week ago. So I jumped up here because the wave came crashing in, stood here, and I got my phone. And I was, oh, it's connected. So I jumped down. And as the sea was receding down the beach, my phone was just sat there like that. Absolutely covered in sand, salt. So the main thing is I managed to get it back, get it home, dry it out. And in the uh, USB slot, it was all crusted with um, salt sand so I had to get cocktail stick in there then it wouldn't charge so I let it dry dried the phone off and hey it works and now I'm still using it now to record but what an expensive walk that could have turned out to be but there you go so I did find it in the end and now I'm going to continue enjoying this lovely afternoon's walk as you can see absolutely stunning and there's a madman on a bike over there he ain't going to be going very fast. Oh, that does bring me, actually. Are you aware that I do have an electric bike and I will be doing a six-monthly living with review, if you like, to see how I'm getting on with it. And that will hopefully be coming out next week or the week after. As you can imagine, guys, I was absolutely 
devastated. So yeah, trudging up and down and hey presto, there it was. So turned out to be the dog's got an extra 30 minute walk and I found my phone. All right, over back to the studio. Bye for now. How lucky was I? Very, very <laughs> lucky. That could have been the most expensive walk I've been on for... Quite a while. For 39 years, I think. Really? Do you reckon? Yeah. No, you must have done other silly things. It's you. What, for that amount? No. You do a lot of silly things. He does. No, I do not. He does. Honestly, he does. And what have you got to show them? Um, so I'm I... just going to go to sleep while she does this. <sighs> Anyway, have you done it? No. <laughs> Didn't even Come on then. I did a little bit of a team you order. Uh, talking about team you oh, orders, last time I did one, I got a right ribbing for it. Because you brought rubbish. No, I didn't. Um, Where's half of your order now? In the garage. Get ready to go to the... Tip. <laughs> right, so... Uh, okay. Bathroom mat. The bathroom mat actually is very good. And I did mock it when it arrived. And I take back my words, it's proven to be a very good bath mat. Um, it's like a giant mouse mat almost, but it's really good. It absorbs the water and yeah, it, it doesn't good. smell. So, like if you have a, a material one, you have to wash them all the time. So they get a bit dampy smelling, don't they, if you don't lift them and hoik them. Um, but the other thing you brought, he brought a runner for the kitchen, rug runner, which is fine. I mean, I know a lot of people have them in the kitchen, but this was quite a cheap one off TeamU. So how many times did we fall over it? Can't I even didn't tell you. I didn't fall over once. Because the edges were curling up. And I didn't fall over once. The thing once. was, he must think I'm really silly because he brought one that said kitchen on it. Is that just in case I forgot where I was? <laughs> and it then, the decoration on it was knives and forks in case I forgot what we do in the kitchen. <laughs> so that was a bit naff. And um, yeah. anyway. Yeah, okay. Let's but get I brought a few bits actually. I'm quite excited to try this. Now, I should have my order up, actually, saying how much it is, shouldn't I? Wait there. Okay, so I've got this. It is hard to get out of the box. It's a vegetable slicer. Now, this was only £1.94. So I don't hold out a lot of hope, but I wanted to give it a try. So it comes with lots of different slicey thingies in here. Okay, so you can grate, slice, yep. single slice. So you attach slice. that into... So anyway, you pop that in there. Whatever your veg is. Whatever your veg is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't use that bit. <laughs> okay, so you pop that back on there. So it's nice. It's got a little container to hold it in. Get your half an onion or whatever in there and... There you go. So various attachments for that one. Yeah, I'll try it in a video. And that was one pound ninety four. You also get a potato peeler with it. Yeah. What's not to love? And it says you can cut, slice, cut flowers and shred. There you go. Okay, so glasses. They are actual glass. So I did. I got five of these because I don't know about you guys. We go through a lot of glasses. There's always glasses being smashed in this house. Where are we going to store them now? On the glass to store them. I'll show you where we store our glasses, and it's already full. No, because recently the kids have smashed about three glasses in the holidays. You're always king smash it. He is. Um, they were one pound ninety seven each. Yeah, I didn't think that was too bad. To be honest, I thought they were going to be about that big. Was a little bit shocked at the size, but there you go. So that's that. Now, I don't know if you've had socks off Team U before. I have. They're quite good. These ones are cat trainer socks. These are for little Emily. Um, so it's five pairs, 69p. You can't complain of that, I suppose. That was good. This is a um, just a pot. Ben's going to pull a face at this. Um, for when we go away to put the kids' toothbrushes in. And that... What's wrong with a wash bag? That was 17 pence. Because we try and travel light, but we end up with, like, pants in toothbrushes and things like that. So at least our toothbrushes can be nice and clean. And that was 17 pennies. This is for my olive oil. It's a spray bottle, obviously. That was 96 pennies. 
quite good. This, I found this quite funny. We go camping in the summer quite a bit and the kids have got cutlery, plastic cutlery. So I saw these ones were metal and I thought, oh, that's quite nice for me and Benj because I don't really like eating plastic. But Tracy didn't study the picture before she ordered. And obviously team use a Chinese site and it comes with a fork and spoon, but chopsticks <laughs> instead of... Anyway. So, but isn't that... It's all right though, isn't it? Yeah, what was that? They were pound nine, but the other one, the case is broken, the lid. It's just got a bit chipped off the corner. So if you send them a picture on the app and tell them what's happened, they just refund you the money. These are washcloths. Mm. I don't know. I'll give you my verdict on them once I've used them. I wish they were a little bit wider, but how much were they? They were 89 pence. I mean, what do I want? Do you know what I mean? What do I expect? But yeah, I think they'll be all right for washing up. This is why, guys, I can't wait for her to get back to work. <laughs> this is for our shower. Already got one. Upstairs. It's broken. Um, it has. I didn't realise. It has got a... But no, it winds me up when the glass door of the shower is um, minging. So how much was that? 60p. Now this was 88 pence. When I saw the picture, it looked about that wide and about that big. Um, what I do for the kids sometimes is I put masking tape on the carpet and I make a little like village, like little roads and roundabouts, car parks and things. But I saw this and it had like road markings on, which I thought was really, really cool. And I'd love that. But like I say, when it arrived, I was like, mm, that's quite small. Unless they got micro machines. Um, so yeah, that was 88 pence. This was 40 pence and that's to clean the kids shoes with they get very muddy shoes don't they when they're out playing football do you not agree that's quite good i thought if it ever gets used uh i'm always the one that has to scrub the kids shoes right what the hell is this hey, guess what do you think this is i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you how much it was first finger plockers a finger what these are 38 pence what about if I do that? Go over something. Yes. That's... To cover for something. No. Yeah. You know our big saucepan? Big one. Mm -hmm. That has two handles and the handles always get hot from the flame. Oh, I, I see. That's quite a good idea, do you not think? Yeah, not bad, I suppose. Yeah. How long they last. Oh, gosh. So cynical. Five pairs of socks. <laughs> We've got funny faces on. So the boys and girls will probably all wear those. 99 pence. And finally, some more socks. We have love hearts on. These were, oops. I didn't realize, but I got three packets of these. So altogether they were 188. Um, but Emily and myself will wear those, so that's fine. And how much was all that haul? And all of that was about £24, I think. Yeah, but you've got like 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 19 pairs of socks there. And a load of crap. It's not a load of crap. It's all everyday stuff that we use that you don't normally... And five glasses. Mm. And a super duper new veg cutter. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, we've those. never really used it massively, have we? We've brought socks off there and your atrocious whatever it was that you ordered, that stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought that That's was about it. Quite exciting. So we've also got a Chefry AFW20 air fryer to review from Chefry themselves. So we'll thank them and we'll do a review on that. Hopefully mm -hmm. that will be Monday. And we're going to do the big chips. Oh, yes. We're going to do aren't them. We? Along with we something are going else. To do what them. about chicken dippers or something we're going to do? We might, um, Homemade chicken dippers or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the kids make them, don't yeah. they? So, so we got they that might to... want to do it, they might not. I don't know. If not, we'll do it for them. Yes, we've got that to go. Nice, no, move your head. No, sorry. And it's what, the one with the glass doors, isn't it? Yes. So, so that's it's a double, yeah. So we'll give that a go and let you see. 
Um, I would like to say a massive happy birthday to Deb's Yorkshire lass. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Debs. <laughs> I hope you're having a good one. Yes, enjoy it. Hopefully the weather's nice. It's not too bad up here. We've it? had a lovely day. We had day, a lovely morning. We? And obviously you've seen the previous video that was taken this morning. Well, this yeah. afternoon. Yesterday this afternoon. was nice, wasn't it? Where did What did I do yesterday? Went swimming. Oh, yeah, we went swimming yesterday. Uh, no, we, the kids and I, we've had a busy week. We went to this garden centre, but it's got a big play area. So there's go-karts, like a big trampoline thing and up slides and whatever. So we went there for one day. Then we went to soft play another day. Walks with the dogs, um, swimming. We've been quite busy and, and bless them. Uh, they came food shopping with me this morning. But it, it was all right, actually. They, yeah. Um, yeah. And if anyone's got an Asda near them, they've got these towels. What's that? Chicago the, Bulls towel. And what? Lakers. What are they? They basketball teams. Yeah, basketball. American basketball. Yeah. American basketball. Like we have English basketball teams. Do we? Yeah, you do, yeah. Oh, okay. American basketball teams. And they were £2.12 on a special price. So I got George one for his um, swimming. So that was also a bit of a bargain too. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing this weekend, are we? It's a tricky one this weekend. Emily and James, James. are in a circus cabaret show this weekend on Sunday. So that's where they are right now. They're at rehearsals. And oh my goodness, in their costumes. Oh, they do. We'll get a picture. Oh, they look so cute. Um, and yeah. obviously George has got George has got football like uh, tournament morning. as well tomorrow morning. And a swimming on swimming Sunday. On Sunday. So Sunday. We, yeah, we're not too sure what we're going to do, but we will do something. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. We will we'll definitely take you along. But unfortunately, the drone is not going to be going out. It's very, very windy. So windy. It? really is. Super duper windy. But lots of washing's been on the line, so that's a massive bonus. Yes. Love to put a bit of washing on the line. Just forgot, we have one more hello, don't we? We have. We want to say a huge hello to you, Michelle Cumber. Hello, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. How, How you are enjoy? you? <laughs> <laughs> I bet uh, you're like, me? <laughs> yes, and that is from your dearly beloved. Ah. So, yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Yeah, you would yes. never do anything like that for me. Of course I would. No, you wouldn't. Hello. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's about I think, it. Yeah, it? I think so. Obviously, please like and subscribe. Yes, it means a lot. You. Helps us out massively. Mm -hmm. We have got 22 videos now, including this one. Yeah, you say so, that nearly every video we do. I'm going to stop then, yeah? <laughs> Just say Just comment if you don't want me to say any more videos. I'm sure they will. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it for now, I think. I think so, yeah. We've got some guests, actually, next Oh, week. yes, we have. The end of but next week. Should we say hello to them? Yes. Hello, Mummy and Daddy. Hi. <laughs> Trevor and Sandy, Mum and my Dad are coming up on Thursday, aren't they? Thursday or Friday, isn't it, I think. Um, but they don't want to be on camera. I'm going to get them on a little bit there. They shouldn't have said that, should they? No, they shouldn't have. If they didn't say it, we probably wouldn't have put them on. But, but... I'm going to try and get them on. But I will have to respect their uh, wishes. No, yes. we won't. <laughs> It's your mum and dad. Yeah, so they're coming up Thursday, so we'll uh, be up to some stuff, hopefully, and we'll take you out and about, hopefully colouring Yeah, we'll be chips. working and schooling, and mum and dad will be mum yeah, and dad I'll here. Yeah, try and get a few days off. Well, you three, you can do, like, the dinners, the cooking, the cleaning. No, we're going out for the days. Oh. <laughs> so we'll see them, and you may see them, may not. Yes. But, yeah, that's it then, isn't it, I think? I think so. If someone else did ask me to say hello to them, I think someone did. Um, just uh, let us know send me an email or just comment if I have forgotten someone yes. I'm really sorry if I have but I have got a bit of a memory of a fish yep. um, but yeah no that's it bye for now bye thank you